And so we say together the creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. So let us thank God for his goodness and let us pray for the needs of the church and the world. Give me our hearts and our minds open. Let us pray to the Lord, responding, Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to bring peace to our world, peace to the Ukraine, peace to the Middle East. We pray today for all those who are desperately searching for or who are in desperate need of peace and all those who are threatened by violence or warfare. We pray that all your people will realize that we always have more in common with our neighbors than we have differences. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to give grace to the leaders of our church and all religions to provide us with leadership and spirituality. We ask you to open up our own ears, our minds and our hearts, and in doing so, might show to others understanding and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to look down in our deeply troubled world and give direction and understanding to the political leaders of all nations and all those who have influence among us. Where there are differences of opinion in our world, Lord, we ask you to lead people to an open mind and to compromise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for help for all those who right now are suffering from the effects of hurricanes, storms, tornadoes, earthquakes, volcanoes, droughts, floods or wildfires. We pray that our planet's resources will be used both fairly and responsibly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask for help for all those in our community and all those known to us who are suffering from discomfort, pain and distress. Particularly think of her breast. And we give thanks, Lord, for all those who offer help and assistance to others. We also pray on this day for all those people who have no one else to pray for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to hold in your hands all those who have written departed and those lost loved ones have an anniversary or birthday at this time. In our own community, we think of Raymond McGrath. May their souls rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Remember at this time all those people who have visited our church in the past week and we lift up their prayers to you. Let us now take time to say in silence all the thoughts and prayers deep within our own hearts. For all these silent prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you have promised to hear what we asked in the name of your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us therefore now confess our sins. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not loved ourselves as we ought. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us. 
that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. We are the body of Christ. By the one Spirit we were all baptized into one body and have all been made to drink of the one Spirit. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And wherever you are, let us offer a sign of peace to one another.